Hello friends, welcome back to Lanity Guide Tutorials. This is a continuation of our Python programming tutorials. Links related to this session are mentioned in the description below. Refer those links that would be easier for you to understand this session much better from basics. Today we are going to talk about how to use Python shell and variables. Keep watching the video till the end. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more about something else, please leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. And you are watching Lanity Guide Tutorials. We provide you 100% free documents and tutorial videos to build your skills. For more updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites and subscribe our YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com and search for Lanity Guide Tutorials. Hit subscribe button to not miss any updates. Click nearby bell icon to get notification immediately. Python is similar to other programming languages like Perl, C and Java. However, there are some differences between each languages. Python is so simple and beginner friendly. So let's get started with some basic programs. In Python, there are two types of programming modes. One is interactive mode programming and other one is script mode programming. In interactive mode, where you just use Python program without calling any arguments like scripts. For example, something like this. You will not call any scripts. This is what the interactive mode programming and in script mode, You use the Python program by calling the exact scripts. So in script mode programming, you use the Python program by calling the script to execute and the Python interpreter will be active until the script is running. When the script is finished, the interpreter is no longer active. And dot .py is the extension of Python program files. So if you are going to create any programs, Python program, then you have to save the file with the extension of .py and it's not mandatory, but that would be easier for you to understand what type of program it is because in shell programming and all, we normally save the program with the extension of .sh. So if you are having thousands of files in a single directory with the different programming languages, if you are not saving any extension, then it is not easy for us to identify what program it is. So let's create a simple python program file and execute. So create a file prog1.py Here you have to give all your commands and all your programs. So for this example I just give I just give print function within the double quote I just give some strings just save and exit from here so let me call this program in script mode programming python prog1.py excellent it has printed that the string what we have given within the double quote hello guys this is what the script mode programming is. You will be calling a script to execute. If that is an interactive program, then that is quite simple. Just call the Python program and hit enter. This will take you to the Python shell. And if you see any programming lectures, they always talk about how to print hello world. That's quite common here because we always should start with the small programs and functions which is easy to understand. To become an expert in the particular programming language, practice a lot and improve your skills to use many functions and statements with different scenarios. So I have opened my Python program and this is how it looks like when you open a Python program. So that will take you to the prompt where you can give your inputs. Here you could see some of the basic information about the Python about the version and other things. Let's talk about variables. 
you take any type of programming languages variable is in it and it plays an important object in any programming language so what is variables variables are used for storing data in a reserved memory space something like numbers decimals or some alphabetic characters so memory can hold a value to the assigned variable names for example let me create a variable name and we'll assign some value for that blue so color equal to blue here the color is a variable and blue is a value for that variable so we have assigned the value of color as blue and here you could see the operator equal to so we have many arithmetic operators to use for this kind of functions so we have declared a variable name color and we have assigned the value for the color is blue hit enter so this is how we declare a variable now if you want to call the variable name anywhere just give color so it will print you the strings whatever you have mentioned inside that double quote again you can use the function print blue again if you wanted to give other variables my age equal to 30 so declare a variable here the variable name is my age and the value of my age is 30 if you wanted to print the value of my age then call the print function and just give the variable name just so simple so got an idea what is variables and how to create a variable with some values all right let's see something more in variables like how do we create multiple declaration in variables for example there might be a requirement to create a multiple variables in your python project something like related to office staffs let's say employee name 1 equal to kingston and just press up to get the previous executed command employee 2 let's say morgan and employee 3 let's say barry so this is how generally we create multiple variables with multiple values in python we have a option for multiple declaration like multiple variable names and multiple values multiple variable names and multiple values in a single line instead of giving in different lines for example employee 1 comma employee 2 comma employee 3 and equal to value of each variables respectively that's it so this is how we can create multiple variable names and multiple values in a single line respectively just hit enter now if if you wanted to get the value of employee name 1 print employee name 1 kingston and if you wanted to print employee name 3 who is the employee name 3 print employee name 3 barry that's so simple So this is a nice feature we have in Python multiple declaration or multiple assignment in a single line Again let's take one more scenario If you wanted to assign a single value for multiple variables instead of having multiple values for multiple variables you can have a single value for multiple variables For example add a department value for each students For example student number 1 student 1 equal to cs computer science department and student 2 and student 3 this is how generally we declare the value for multiple variables now in python if you wanted to declare 
multiple variables with a single value that in a single line then student equal to student 2 equal to student 3 equal to that's it that's so simple in a single line you can have a single value for multiple variables so all these students are belongs to the particular department that is CS just hit enter now call the variables using the print function CS print student 2 CS print student 3 CS that's it so multiple variables with single value in the last example we have seen multiple variables with different values this is what the multiple assignment or multiple declarations how did you feel is it helpful appreciate our efforts in the comment section below hit like button share with your friends about us subscribe our channel to get further updates stay connected with us on social networking sites for more free tutorials visit our website www.lanetiguide.net